We got a big one for you today. We're going to talk about our top five best low carb spiked seltzers on the market. What's happening? NJRoot22.com here with a low carb keto carnivore chat and our booze review. This is a low carb seltzer roundup. As you know, it was an interesting turn of events over the past 6 to 12 months. You know, the whole crisis. And we have drank enough low-carb seltzers to be able to come up with our favorites. First, we'll talk about the criteria, what we have for best low-carb seltzer or favorite low-carb seltzer. And we're not using any of this crappy data-driven analysis you see all the time where they weigh things and you can figure out charts and all that crap. This is just based on experience and repetitive uh, samples of various um, seltzers. It's like a, more of an intuitive thing. We do place a certain amount of emphasis on some aspects of e each product feature, but our determination is not based on numbers alone. So here are some of our basic general tick marks, we like to call them, in order to you know, rank as a good thing in our world. First and foremost is carbs. The lower the better. We generally do not consume anything that is over two grams of net carbs per can. We make exceptions sometimes. And the next is value. There's a line in the sand for how much we want to pay for a package of spiked seltzer. Generally it has to be under thirty dollars a case. Again, the lower the better. We can sometimes get them for closer to twenty. And next on the list is taste. It's not really not that much of an indicator as we water down most of our drinks and we, we never drink them straight out of a can like a beer. But taste still plays a role because while the good tastes don't really win extra points, the bad tastes will turn us off, off enough to never buy them again. We've had some that were just pretty darn bad. And very important is sugar. Besides the carbs, it could have two or three grams of carbs, but if it has any sugar at all, one gram, two grams, sometimes added sugar, we, uh, we tend to try to stay away from them because you know, over the case of many drinks, it will affect your blood sugar levels and it also truly makes you drink more. And lastly, alcohol content. It's really not a big deal. Sometimes we feel better when we get um, more for our money and we can drink fewer cans. Yeah, here's our top list of favorite seltzers in 2021. And with, this is in no particular order. I'm just going to list uh, the five that have made the short list. And first on the list is the Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer, which are now uh, called Smirnoff Zero Carb Seltzers. And they've been, almost lost their th uh, position as the, at the throne, but uh, they stayed because other, other seltzers just aren't, just don't cut it. They're one gram of carbs per can and no added sugar, and they're around 28 bucks a case. They also have an 8% uh, version of alcohol that is uh, whew, you got to drink those we drink half a can at a time so be advised that uh, the new version of Smirnoff seltzers we may have to issue a update on these because we feel kind of crappy after drinking anyway our next one is simple SMPL these guys came around late in 2020 and they're a hit because they have very low carb uh, levels and higher alcohol content and you get more free money you get 15 uh, cans in a case and it comes out to be a few pennies less per can. Also on our list is high current seltzer. It's also good taste, five percent alcohol and low carb with no added sugar. And they're just about a dollar more per case than Smirnoff. We like them. And hydroponics, this is something that the taste actually played a role because they have terpene in it and they kind of smell like weed. Some people hate it and some people love it. I find it interesting enough to enjoy them for that aspect alone. But keep in mind that we've had quality issues between batches. So sometimes they, they smell amazing and taste great and sometimes they taste a little tainted and have no real scent at all. So I, I emailed them and they never got back to me. So we're going to have to keep an eye out on that. If they have quality problems where they can't uh, put a consistent case out, we may have to drop them off the list. And lastly is Blind Lemon. This is a latecomer to the list uh, late last year and they have a zero carb, I mean zero sugar, one gram of carbs and it has a pretty decent flavor. But be careful, we found that these messed us up a little more than other seltzers, so be careful uh, with overconsumption. And now we're on to the honorable low-carb spiked seltzer mentions. Now these are seltzers that we will buy, but we're not going to keep them as like regular visitors in our house. Maybe every few months we'll pick one up just for fun. 
First on the list is natural light. They're also called natty lights. We like these because of the value. They're the cheapest seltzers on, on the list and uh, they taste good, but they do have higher uh, gra uh, grams of carbs. I think it's three grams per can. But we'll, it's a good cheap old value and, and it wouldn't kill us just to have them every now and then. Also on the list is Truly Lemonade. This is also higher in uh, carbs and it also has I think some sort of fake sugar in it. The taste alone was really really good. We, we can add them like, like a mixed drink, add a little more to our drinks. They found them interesting for the taste alone. It seemed to be a little more refreshing. Also on the fake sugar front is Crook and Marker Coconut. We like Crook and Marker's taste but we hated the fact that it was erythritol because we definitely drank too much and they were way, way too sweet. But the coconut ones were great because they had the least sweetness out of all the Crook and Markers. And I think it was, it added a nice flavor dimension to your drink. So we will buy them every six months or so and just mix them into our drinks. We, they're also organic, so they cost like 50% more per ounce than any, any other seltzer. But if that makes you feel good, go have at it, as they say. And lastly is Kona Seltzer. These have been rising fast. These are from Hawaii, and they're about two grams of carbs per can and 5% alcohol. We like these because uh, we can drink uh, almost any amount of them and we don't get a horrible hangover. I don't know how these hangovers even happen because, you know, they all have the same numbers on the side of the can. Maybe it's the quality of the ingredients. But we like Kona. They're, uh, they taste good and they're fun. Just remember that not all low-carb seltzers are the same. Check those key points on the side of the can. Total carbs, added sugar, and keeping those numbers as low as possible is your best line of defense in the low-carb world. Frankly, we'd be better off if we didn't drink at all, right? But at the same time, we, we might also lose our mind. It's a tricky line to walk in today's crazy world, that's for sure. Well, I hope you hope this, enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Hit the bell and subscribe, and take care.